Okay, so I'm just going to talk about the self-improvement YouTuber Hamza and just more generally these kind of social parasocial relationships we can have with content creators and just what I think about them more generally. Um, and it's funny, I meet, I see a lot of people and I, I used to be like this myself who feel like they owe their they owe everything they've done that's good to Hamza. Um, and there's something quite problematic about that, you know. Um, I think the human brain can't really distinguish between, like, um, someone you see online making YouTube videos and, like, a genuine social interaction with someone. I think... When you actually look at it, in terms of like how your brain's being stimulated, it's probably like it's like ninety five percent the same, you know. And one thing that's quite significant is when people talk about improving their lives, you know, um, and Hamza, they'll often say things like, "Oh, Hamza got me into the gym," or "Hamza got me into meditation," and it's like it's a weird one because if you didn't know the context of that sentence. If you didn't know who Hamza was, or you didn't know um, about his move, like his movement and self improvement or whatever, then you'd think Hamza was like your mate, like a real person who you'd interacted with, who would like encourage you to go to the gym or taught you how to meditate. It's not the natural thing to assume that it's like a social media influencer who's encouraging you to do those things. Um, you know. No one ever says like, oh, Hamza's videos inspired me to go to the gym. Because, and this might sound like a small point, but the reason for that is because that's not how it feels when you watch a self-improvement YouTube video. It feels like Hamza is telling you to do that stuff. Like Hamza is someone you know. And that's very significant. You know, and I just think like, Maybe, maybe people need to take more accountability for how well they're doing themselves, you know? Like, ultimately, was Hamza there waking you up in the morning before school uh, or before uni or before work um, when it was dark outside and you were still a bit tired and he, and he said to you, like, oh, come on, mate, let's go to the gym. Let's get, let's get after it. Yeah, yeah. Go on, mate, let's go. Uh, here's your water bottle. Um, you know, his legs today. Like, no, he wasn't saying that. He was in fucking Dubai making his YouTube videos, not knowing you existed. You know, it was you that got yourself up and went to the gym that day. Hamza doesn't have that much to do with it, you know? Like, yeah, he gave you the idea, but, I mean, come on, man, take, take some fucking self-accountability you were the one who got yourself up that morning to go to the gym. Um, you were the one who decided to start meditating or start a business or whatever. Like, that's... It's 99% you, you know? I just think, be proud of yourself for that. Like, that's... Hams has got a lot less to do with it than, than you think. Um, now, I'm not saying it's nothing. You know, obviously Hamza does provide a lot of inspiration for young guys to get their lives together. But I just think it's so sad that so many guys are making all this great progress in their self-improvement, you know. Um, and then they're like, oh, it was all down to Hamza. Hamza changed my life. And I just think, I don't know, I, I get it. I know how they feel, but I just think there's something that doesn't sit well with me about that. And I just feel like, yeah, like, he doesn't know you exist. Now, if you met him, like, he'd probably be very nice to you, you know, you'd probably have a nice chat, or whatever, but don't, I just think, don't put too much credit to an influencer online. Uh, you know, recognize your own potential for greatness that's within you uh, and recognize your own achievements and take responsibility for them, you know, rather than just being like, oh, it's all Hamza, you know. Uh, have some accountability. I just think one of the big problems I see with a lot of 
self-improvement people who do what I do, um, especially if they're of the more kind of Hamza ilk, is they don't they don't seem that confident when they make videos. Um, and to be honest, like I know it sounds weird, but like, I mean, go and look at Hamza's name on Instagram. It's literally like cult leader Hamza. You know, um, he is he is presenting himself as like a cult figure, basically like as a god, you know. And I just think the reason why a lot of these guys that I see who, who make self improvement videos, like yeah, maybe they're a bit younger, or whatever, but the and the reason why they don't seem very confident is because they've subordinated themselves to, to a man, to, to Hamza, you know? And that's a very, like, this sounds silly, but, like, that's not what Adonis would do, <laughs> you know? Um, Adonis wouldn't subordinate himself to a man, you know? He might subordinate himself to, like, gods, you know? I can see that, you know? I can see uh, Adonis being quite religious, but, you know, Adonis would learn from his, his elders and take advice and whatever, but he wouldn't... He wouldn't focus like solely on one figure, you know, much less just some social media figure that, that you'd never even met. Um, and I just think, yeah, like that's why a lot of these guys, these um, YouTubers I see online, like, they don't look very confident. Um, and if they just started saying like, you know what, Hamza's like a cool guy. He's made, he make, he's good at making videos. He's good at speaking. And maybe he gave me the advice for, you know, some good advice about going to the gym and stuff like that. But fundamentally, it was me who got myself up in the morning to go to the gym. You know, it was me who decided to start meditating. It was me who decided to go and approach that girl. You know, um, that's on me. You know, I am the master of my own fate. Then, I don't know, they'd, they'd probably be a bit more confident. You know, um, they'd, they'd command a bit more respect. You know, um, and they probably live a happy life as well. So that's it, guys. Like, if you've made progress in your life and you feel good about it, don't subordinate. You like take credit for that. That's on you. You know, it's not on Hamza that you did that. Like, um, take some fucking credit for it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.